Saturday Foursome is brought to you by Instead of Flowers provides delicious gourmet meals that are delivered fresh and never frozen. If you're looking for what to give someone, Instead of Flowers makes the perfect gift for any and every occasion. Everybody has a story. Mine started 20 years ago in the golf mecca of the world, Augusta, Georgia. On my journey to make it back home, I've done everything it takes to get there. On Saturdays, I connect with all kinds of people from all walks of life. We laugh, talk trash, share stories, and learn from each other's journeys. On the road to chase my dreams, this is what golf really looks like. This is golf like you've never seen it before. This is Saturday Force. Beautiful, sunny, Miami. I love it here. Today, I get to play golf with some locals with an amazing story. Josh Booty, hula man himself and two professional sport athletes. Levon Hernandez, World Series MVP for the Florida Marlins and one of the best people you'll ever meet. And Orlando El Duque Hernandez, World Series champion with the Yankees and a Cuban legend. Swinging away, hitting the links and getting this amazing day going, my good friend and partner today, Josh, are about to find out if the Hernandez brothers can really play some golf. No matter the outcome, I know that the stories out here today will be some that I will remember forever. I'm so excited to get this day going. But in 97, when Levon was the uh, MVP of the World Series, I got called up in September from AA Portland. I don't know if you remember that, but I was playing with Millar and all those boys in Portland, Kotze, some of those guys, um, and Alex Gonzalez, he was on that team. We had an awesome team. Um, Randy Wynn, but I got called up in 97 and won the World Series, was a part of the team. I was a backup, Bobby Bow was hurt at third base and I got a chance to play some in September and was, was up there for some of the playoff run, which was pretty cool and got a World Series ring opening day in 98. And uh, mm -hmm. of course you were there, but I think two years later, maybe three years later, I'm at, uh, I'd gone back to play football and I was at a uh, Super Bowl party in New Orleans at Harris Casino and M Kevin Millar who everybody knows now he hosts the intentional talk on Major League Baseball Network my best buddy went with, went with me to the party and he goes Josh can I wear your World Series ring and I said I said man you can do whatever you want I don't really wear the ring much you know it's a it's a Hawaiian tropic party beautiful girls everywhere so he he put on my ring and he wore it to the party and uh, it was a little big for his hand and about 2 a.m., I come out of the I come out of the the event, and it's a bunch of quarterbacks were there because it's a Super Bowl event. I think Hasselback, uh, Drew Bledsoe, Tim Couch, uh, Joey Harrington, Millar, and I come out, and we're all we're all you know we've had a few drinks, and we started talking about who's the best athlete of the group, you know, start talking trash, and I said, well, I, I'm the only one with the World Series ring, a bunch of football guys, you know. And Kevin was there, and he hadn't won it yet. It wasn't 2004, so the Red Sox hadn't won that won it yet. So so I said, show him my ring, Kevin. And Kevin goes like this, and it wasn't on his hand. He goes, holy sh**. So he goes running to the bathroom at Harris Casino, and he had, he had washed his hands, went to the bathroom, washed his hands, set the ring down to wash his hands so it didn't fall off, and he left it on the counter of Harris, uh, New Orleans Harris Casino. So he comes back. He, he goes running to the bathroom, comes back. He goes, oh, my God, I lost your World Series ring. Oh, my God, oh, my God. You know, And I'm like, Dude, I mean, it's 2.30 in the morning. Yeah, it's two th I'm like, dude, I didn't even know what to say. I wasn't mad at him. I'm like, he's told this story on Major League Baseball Network. But I, I looked at him. I said, guys, let's just go to Bourbon Street. Let's go. <laughs> About 1997, David, I watched the, 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 the World City uh, and in Cuba. Yeah, yeah. No, I live in Cuba. Only. Yeah. But um, after World City, uh, you know, the Liban is a... Uh, it's a big uh, inspiration for, for my city and, and for everybody in Cuba. Yeah. Everybody talking about Liban Hernandez, Liban Hernandez. Uh, Liban, uh, I don't know about it. It put a little pressure in me to, uh, <laughs> to, be good. Yeah. Yeah, to, to be to, great. Uh, to watch it in the future, I say. You know what? The government suspended me for life for, uh, because uh, yeah. Liban 
it's a take take no escape. He, him take a good decision right. to free no, free no, no, You know, we free. play for the national team Cuban in uh, in Monterrey when he say, hey, you know what? I go. What? Hey, yeah. Tonight. Or oh, Liban, sorry, I'm not ready. Made up, right? yeah. I'm not ready for, not ready, for yeah. the, that decision. I have a keep in Cuban, uh, but good luck. But when the I uh, when I come here, uh, Liban, I come back now to the golf. When I come here, 1998, oh, I say, hey, go, go. In, Come to me to, to play, I'm sorry, my English is very bad, but I try my best. Uh, going, going to me to, to play golf. Golf? <laughs> no, man. That's a gang in for all men. All men. All men. Yeah. What is it? I don't understand. Hit the ball, working behind the ball, make it the ball in the hole. That's not, that's the game that's that's to me. Yeah. It's a... Uh... 2000. For 2003, uh, after surgery, uh, when during my rehab, uh, Placido Polanco and Ray Jaffet. Hey, you know what? Ray, Ray Jaffet, the trainer, but, uh, going to play golf. Hey, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Uh, I play nine holes. I should have 63 because in every hole, the guy, oh, stop, stop, <laughs> about 63, about one birdie. Oh, come on. <laughs> After the number six a hole. After that, the only phrase I say, hey, when do you, when do we, when you want, when we play again, <laughs> when, when we play, play again. Hey, but you don't love golf, I say, no, well, okay. You I hope. play for 15 days in a row. <laughs> wow. The further yeah, the reason why. Today, yeah. <laughs> I play golf, not too much, but I try to play eight times a week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not too much. No, not too much. Yeah. Golf much. is, uh, I started in an Ale Fernandez tournament, and the guy said, go ahead, hit the ball. I said, no, nah, nah, I don't want to hit that. And I swing three times, and I miss. So the guy's coming and said, set up perfect, hit the ball, hit the ball. Try to hit the ground. I said, ground, okay. So I hit the ball and the boy fly. I said, no way. <laughs> wow. And I said, I want to play golf. Yeah. I started and hit it. And you know, I see the ball fly, you're flying. And I love, I love it because you see a little ball flying in there and far. And that time we got a little power. Yeah. And the boy <laughs> flying, okay. you know, he flying right, left, whatever, but starting practicing. The first time I play, I shot one on one. That's pretty good. After that, that's, that's it. Good. No more. Because we go play and say, I count every shot. One, you count every shot I make. I don't want to cheat. I don't want to. Yeah. I hit it out of ball, I hit it again, one on one. And after that, I never shoot a hundred again. <laughs> <laughs> there that's you go. The story. Well, y'all got us down by one, so you know we got a little work to do. Well, but it's early. Game up, baby. Yeah, it's we don't want. On the green right yeah, now. we don't. We don't. We don't want. <laughs> we <laughs> want. We want up. Huh? <laughs>
in Cuba, you play baseball and you're boring. And that was a sport, number one sport in Cuba. And you know, it's, the inspiration in Cuba is trying to play baseball on the Cuba national team. That was the top. But we cross another level and try to, I want to play the best baseball in the world. My brother is coming to the United States and play baseball and the best baseball in the world and get free because he gets suspended for life. You don't want to get suspended for life for something you love and you cannot continue to play baseball and something you love it. and your family love it to watch you and play in the, in, in the league. So we come to the United States and be free and play baseball and have the family get a better life. And, and you know, that was the reason we're here for. And, and the dream come true. Yeah. We can't complain about that. I say, how, this is an example why the, the baseball is a big in Cuba. When you ask in the Cuban have a, a lot of big uh, sport guys in different sports, no? big guy in the world. But when you ask it uh, for the ball set, the uh, uh, track, uh, yeah, what is it, what is it, what sport you you play? No baseball before. Everybody oh. played baseball before uh, every sport in Cuba. I think the, the, the baseball is the, the flat. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a, represent, uh, represent 100% Cuban. But uh, I think it's, a, it's easy when you come to USA the, after living in Cuba for a lot of years. When you come to USA, it's very easy. <laughs> <laughs> you went you know, through the hard part easy. already. Right. I mean, so, speaking English, not speaking English, yeah. you understand, you understand, it's very easy. You have food every day, you, have, you, you work in the street uh, free. You know, nobody saying, uh, hey, why are you working for, uh, for that uh, street? No. It's free. Everything is 100% free. Right. You know, it's a, it's a country here. We, let me tell you, <laughs> I'm glad I'm here. It's the best country in the world. We born over there. We cannot, we cannot live with that, that people from that country there. It's, a, it's very difficult. Cuba now is it's in the middle of the, the something hard and no, no light, no water, no anything and you want to be this is because everybody crossed now over here a lot of people die in the war cross the river because people they want to do it and they say well i die doing this well i don't want to live there and that was not right you everybody got a chance to live the way you want you know like today look if we get lucky we play with one one of the guys and people know, play Miami baseball and NFL. We here, and he's right here. Everybody, <laughs> everybody. He got four rings. <laughs> I got one. Yeah. We, everybody we, think it's it it the, yeah. the Cuban or the Venezuela people coming to USA for for material. No, 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 no. For for food. For family, you know, the fight for better life for, for, for freedom. Uh, uh, yeah, freedom, the better life for for family. Then Cuban, no food, no water, no light. It's terror. Yeah. Same in Venezuela too. It's a lot of country there. But the USA, the, I don't know about. I know come back to Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know I, when, when, when Levon showed up to Miami, uh, we were actually Fort Lauderdale back then in yeah. the old stadium. And um, these are two of the best guys in baseball when I was playing, right? I mean, in terms of personality, too, you, you could not help but fall in love with Levon when he came from Cuba. I remember you had an interpreter. Yeah. But when you went between the lines, it was like you were at home, you yeah. know, and you did your deal and that's why you had fun and you succeeded. Like it didn't matter what was happening outside of the pitcher's mound. You know, when you crossed the line and you played, yeah. it was like you were Levon and Cuba or yeah. wherever you played before. Be I have a story too. When I was uh, on the USA junior team, national team, Olympic national team. And we were, we had seven first rounders and we were up in Canada, yeah, we in Windsor, Canada. And in the gold medal game, we we're playing Cuba. And 
we had a seven first rounders. Alex Rodriguez was on the team. He was my roommate, but he was hurt at the time. Paul Conurco. We had a lot of good players on our team. Seven first rounders from the U.S. And we're playing Cuba. And we didn't know who Levon was. And that day, he struck out 17 of us. And I think Conurco had the only hit against him yeah. that day uh, in our whole entire lineup. And these were guys that were, we were accomplished junior players at the time. And I was like, who was that guy? And, you know, he's throwing 95, a slider, you know, curveball. Like, he made us look like, like, like high schoolers, you know. And we're like, well, a year later, he defects and comes and plays for the Marlins. And I was a Marlin. And, um, you know, you know, the next year he wins the MVP of the World Series. I, that's the guy. <laughs> that's that guy. You know, I don't remember you first round. I made and some were good money people. And some people, and that time you can talk in the media and say, yeah, this guy give you a lot of money, why? And he made, he signed with good money, and signed with good money. And we get hate from people. <laughs> a lot. Oh, why, why these people make money? Sir? We make money because we young, and we play good in college, yeah. and we made it. And people don't like it because the, the minimum day is one on nine. And when they eat sign, you already got two points or something in the bank. And you know, and that was and that time is something like, well, you know, we deserve. That was in the nineties. That was a long 90s. time ago. <laughs> I remember. I know he used to you got a like a yellow Ferrari yeah. or a red Ferrari, I remember, and he had Cubans. He he got some cigars. And I had never smoked cigars. Now I smoke every day and it's it's pretty amazing that I'm smoking your brother's cigar <laughs> on, the, on the golf course. Okay. But you introduced me to cigars, and you don't even probably remember yeah. that. But that was uh, that was pretty that was something pretty special when I was a kid because we couldn't get Cuban cigars, and I was 19 yeah. years old, and and Levon had him by the box. I'm like this, I like this guy. <laughs> yeah, I get the box and give you some body. Now, just like when y'all were playing in that game of Canada, you're like, who's this guy? We've been playing golf and we're two down. And so I'm starting to think, who, who, yeah, who, who is, is this guy? guy? Yeah, who is this guy? It's the same thing. We got a couple tour players. Yeah, we got golf tour players. <laughs> golfing. Here we go, hey, baby. Listen, it's, it's time. The only one we want to do, like I said before we start, we, we love this game. We play. And we want to play in celebrities tournament, like we say. Hopefully one day we go to Tahoe, Tahoe. We go to Orlando, and you know, I want to go one time. Oh, and <laughs> when I let you know, I come back next year. <laughs> <laughs> let me win one time. Wherever potential leads you next, get there with speed. Get there with scale. Get there with a bank you trust. Synovus, get there. Saturday Foursome is brought to you by Instead of Flowers provides delicious gourmet meals that are delivered fresh and never frozen. If you're looking for what to give someone, Instead of Flowers makes the perfect gift for any and every occasion. We're not doing too good on the scorecard. <laughs> <laughs> they're playing pretty darn good, brother. I mean, well, they're making birdies and pars all day. They, I, they've been doing a good job. I think what El Duque said, he played uh, eight times in seven days. I think he was telling the truth. <laughs> they got the game down right now. We got a little practice to do. That's, all right. That's cool. That's cool, man. We were working hard. We were working hard. So tell me a little bit about Bula, man. I've been seeing it blowing up all on online, man. Tell me what you got going on with Yeah, Bula. man. We couldn't be more excited. I appreciate you asking about it. We're, we're the first. We're going to be the first ever social challenge app or first, first ever social call to action app. It's peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, wager, dare, challenging, you know, friends. It's so, so you think Instagram or TikTok or Snapchat with a verdict. 
have tokenization, it's web-based, blockchain, so it's it's next level social. No one's ever tried to do this and we're trying to pull something off, but we feel there, there's a niche out there and that's what we think is next, you know, in social. Yeah, I love yeah, that, I love that. Awesome. I think we would have lost a couple of bullets today though. <laughs> we would have. Well, they make too many birdies, you know. I'll tell you what. <laughs>